Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Destiny video. Now in today's video, we're going to talk about exotic bounties. You guys have been asking me to do this one for a little while now. Talk about sort of, you know, how you get an exotic bounty and then once you've got it, what you need to do in order to complete it. So I figured I'd finally sort of sit down and do it today. Now the only reason it's taken me so long, in all honesty, is because I've only just got my very first exotic bounty. So I chose the bounty for Pocket Infinity, so I'm going to run you through how to get that. You know, run you through all the different steps. So if you're out here trying to sort of work out what you need to do for Pocket Infinity, then definitely stick around to the end of this video. But if you just want to in general know how uh, an exotic bounty works, then also similarly stick around to the end of this video. So that is my test case. Now, first up, how do you get an exotic bounty? Typically what would happen is you'd hand the bounty into the guy that gives you different bounties and then when you hand it in he'll then bring up the screen which will then say you can now choose from an exotic bounty. Now people have got different theories, some people have said before that if you hand in or you know you take say five bounties, complete them and hand them in all at the same time it increases your chances of getting an exotic bounty. Now I'll tell you right here right now that is not the case. The reason I say that is because I have been playing Destiny every single day since launch day. I hit level 20 on the very first day and I've done bounties every single day since then and I have only just got my very first exotic bounty. I regularly hand in five at the same time and it's still never given me any better luck. In all honesty, getting an exotic bounty is just like getting an exotic weapon. It is completely based on luck. Just like if you go in the Vault of Glass and you open a chest, you may well get an exotic weapon or you might just get shards and energies. Similarly, if you go and do, if you decode an engram or you just kind of complete a nightfall mission, the exact same way, it's all random. You just have to be lucky. Now sure, it does trigger by obviously handing in bounties. So in theory, if you do complete more bounties, then obviously you're handing them in so you're getting another roll at said dice so obviously if you complete one bounty say in a week then you obviously don't have as great a chance as someone that completes say 10 bounties every single day or week because every time you hand in a bounty you obviously have an increased chance of the guy sort of turning around and being like hey here's your exotic bounty so obviously the time invested does obviously increase your chances in that respect but it's not a case of if you complete x number of bounties you will get an exotic bounty it is still random you know i know people that have completed you know just a few bounties and they've been given an exotic bounty or there's me who's been doing bounties every single day since launch and i've still only just got mine last week so you can see it is completely random Anyway, that aside, when luck is in your favour and the bounty guy turns around and says, hey, here are your exotic bounties, this is the screen you will see. You'll always be presented with three bounties, three choices. That way you can pick whichever one you want to do and that will then determine the weapon you get. You can see here, they don't actually tell you what weapon you'll get. They instead have a name for the sort of quest you're going to go on. So what you want to do, if you do want to sort of work out what you want to do or you know what weapon you're going to get, then jump over to Google and just sort of type in the name and it will typically lead you to say the Destiny Wiki, which will then tell you what weapon you'll get out from that. Now in my case, I had three options. I had Shattered Memory Fragment, which will give you the Pocket Infinity, which is an exotic fusion rifle. A Voice in the Wilderness, which will give you super good advice, which is an exotic machine gun. Or Toland's Legacy, which will give you bad juju, which is an exotic pulse rifle. So I chose Shattered Memory Fragment for the Pocket Infinity. So now that that's what I've got, now I've chosen it, it will then appear in your bounty slot, just like everything else. It will take up that slot for a little while until you complete it. But you now have your quest and you now have everything you need to begin going on your journey towards getting that weapon. So let's now switch over to what you now need to do in order to get the Pocket Infinity and what you need to do to complete this exotic bounty. First up, what you want to do is jump over to your inventory screen and take a look at what you have to do. So the very first step for the Pocket Infinity asks you to track down Fireteam Tuyet's last stand. Now, in order to do that, what you want to do is jump over to Venus, select a patrol mission and land down and then follow the path that I am taking right now. You go all the way down here, past this statue, jump over here and then to your left is a doorway. In this doorway, if you go in and take a left, you'll see right on the ground there's a little ghost and when you pick that up, that will complete the first phase of your bounty. Once you've completed it, again, open up your inventory, go and hover over it and see what you now need to do next. It now says I need to kill a Vex Gatelord with a heroic modifier. So again, we return to Venus, but this time select the mission Eye of a Gatelord. Then once you selected that, choose a heroic modifier. You don't have to do it on level 28. I just decided to do it for the challenge, but either way, you can do it on level 17. Anything that's in yellow, anything that says hard has a heroic modifier on it. So select that and go and complete the mission. Once you've done that, you'll then see that your exotic bounty now says Restored Ghost and it now asks you to bring the unlocked ghost to the speaker in the tower. So we do just that. We head over to the tower, go to the speaker and hand this in to him. Once you've done that, he will then give you a fusion rifle schematic which you then take to the gunsmith. Once that's completed, we then have a depleted exotic weapon core. Now this is the annoying one. This part here requires you to dismantle 10 rare fusion rifles. Now if you just so happen to have them stored up, then you are a lucky person because you can just dismantle them. So from this point onwards, do hang on to your rare fusion rifles just in case you need them. You know, if you've got bank space, chuck them in there because if ever you get this exotic bounty, then you will be so happy that you have these. If you don't have them stored up, however, the weaponsmith will sell them at a random time. 
He doesn't sell them all the time, so what you do need to do is keep an eye on him. You know, he does refresh. Like, look at the bottom of the screen. We'll see where it says stock refresh. Anytime he does a stock refresh, make sure you go and check it out because when he sells those rare fusion rifles, make sure you buy them because that's going to be the only other way you're going to get them. Alternatively, obviously, you could go out and farm them and just hope you randomly get them as a drop. But either way, that's what you need to do. Obtain 10 fusion rifles in whatever way you can, and then once you've got them, dismantle them. You see that every single time you dismantle one, it adds towards your exotic bounty, and then once you've dismantled 10, you complete that next phase. Once you've dismantled all of those, you then need to return this to the gunsmith, where he will then give you an unstable prototype fusion rifle frame. The last thing you then need to do is go over to a nightfall strike and kill enemies using a fusion rifle. Now, unfortunately, at this time, the first time I did it, I actually didn't have any fusion rifles left. I dismantled all of them, and the only thing for sale was a common white fusion rifle. So that wasn't very powerful, but I took that into the nightfall anyway and did some damage. But the thing I failed to realise, the thing I overlooked, uh, one of my subscribers actually reminded or pointed out to me, was that the Vex Mythoclast is actually a fusion rifle. I took for granted the fact that it goes in your primary weapon slot, but failed to remember that it is actually a fusion rifle. So you can also use the Vex Mythoclast to do this, which is what I did in the end. You then go into a Nightfall Strike and you have to kill 200 enemies using a fusion rifle. Then once you've done all of that, you just return to the tower, go back to the gunsmith, hand it in for the last time, and he will reward you with the Pocket Infinity. This is now your exotic fusion rifle. Now if I just quickly jump over to the Earth, you can just see what this weapon looks like and see how it fires. The really cool thing about this one, the upgrade perk, is Pocket Infinity, which allows it to fire in full auto mode. And if you want to see that in action, then check back tomorrow where I'm going to put up a video where I'm going to take a look at this weapon in greater detail and show you all the different stuff it has to offer. But for the time being, that is everything you need to know about exotic bounties, how you get them, or at least kind of how you can hope to achieve them through randomness, and also what you need to do in order to get the Pocket Infinity. So hopefully you found this helpful, and as always, if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit the like button, show your support, it does really help me out, and also don't forget to subscribe for daily gaming videos. Drop a comment down below and let me know how lucky you've been with exotic bounties. How many exotic bounties have you got? And if so, which one is your favourite so far? Thanks again for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.